guys and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video because we are going to be testing, reviewing, and lip swatching the shade extension in the Maybelline Lifter Gloss formulation. If you didn't know, the Maybelline Lifter Gloss is my hands down favorite lip gloss formulation at the drugstore and they just launched a five shade extension. So we are going to go through, do arm swatches and lip swatches and see what I think of all of these new shades, especially for my own complexion. So if that is something that you are interested in seeing, then just keep on watching. Based on the shades available on the shopper site, it looks like the original launch came in 10 different shades and they've now added five. So there are now 15 different colors in the Lifter Gloss formulation. I have three of the original Lifter Gloss shades and then I have the five new ones as well. Before we look at the new shades, I wanted to go through my original three. So I own two of the shade 003 Moon, which is what I'm currently wearing. This is such a gorgeous shade. It is a light baby doll pink with little tiny glitter throughout. My absolute favorite kind of color to wear this for me is just like the easiest every day. I'm currently wearing it right now just on its own. I'm not going to do lip swatches of the original just because I know there's so many videos doing that and I want to keep this pretty concise with the new five but this is what moon looks like. I'm just wearing it because this is what I always wear. So as I said I am going to show you each swatch on camera here and then I'm going to do each on my phone as well with flash. You can really see like the micro shimmers. So that is 003 Moon. The other one that I have here is Amber. This I would say is probably the most popular shade from the original launch because it looks quite similar in coloring to Fenty Glow which is like the original Fenty Gloss Bomb shade. A little bit different though because this actual gloss doesn't have any shimmer particles in it which I don't usually love in a gloss. If there's no shimmer to me it's more like a lip lacquer even though it's not it's still a traditional gloss that's just how my brain works if there's no shimmer it doesn't feel like a gloss to me I've definitely worn it a few times and it's a good color to have in your collection but um, it's just not one that I reach for a ton so that is 007 amber and then the last one that I have here is 004 silk I reach for this one a little bit definitely more than amber but definitely less than moon it's just a little bit of a deeper pink and then this this one has little gold shimmers in it, whereas Moon has a little bit more of like a silver white shimmer, so it pulls more cool toned, which is usually what I like on the lips, whereas this one is more like neutral, leaning a little bit more warm. So again, that is 004 Silk. So those are the original three. I think I might keep this on here and then do the other five on this hand just so we can hold them all together for you guys. And then I'm going to input in here the clips that I take on my phone with flash turned on so you can see the iridescence and the actual sparkle itself. Now that we've gone through my OG3, let's get into the exciting part, which is the new five. I absolutely love the colors that they chose for this new shade launch and the shimmers that they have in here as well. There are two or three shades specifically that are very high sheen. They have a really high shimmer in them. There's only one here that doesn't have any type of shimmer. And as I said, I like a shimmer gloss, so I like to see that. The first shade that we have is the lightest and this is 012 opal. I anticipate that this is going to be my favorite shade because it is the closest in color to moon. You can see moon here is a little bit more cool toned whereas opal is a little bit lighter, especially this one on camera. You can't really see the fine shimmer and iridescence. You really just see a gloss. Um, and you can see on the hand that it has the very faintest pink hue. Definitely pulls more pink in the package, but on the hand and on the lips, I'm sure it's going to be more of a clear with silver white sparkle. So very excited about this shade. Looks very, very pretty. Here is how my lips look with no product on them. So now I'm going to go in with 012 Opal because this one is so fair, especially on the hand. You can barely see any type of pig 
any type of pink pigment in there. I probably would prefer to wear this one with a liner or like a liquid lipstick underneath, um, but for swatches sake, I'm gonna do it just on its own. And this formula does have a slight like vanilla scent to it. It's not too overpowering. I am sensitive to scents and fragrances in products and it doesn't bother me. Um, it's just like a really nice light vanilla scent. This is how 012 Opal looks on the lips. I did end up removing some of my foundation around my lips with the wipe just because I wasn't looking. It's not that important, but just ignore that. But this is how the shade Opal looks on the lips. Wouldn't wear it on its own. For me personally, I think it just washes me out. If you have a deeper complexion, you can totally do that. You can do whatever you want with makeup but for me i definitely would want to pair this one off with a liner the next color that we have to swatch is 011 brass this is one of those ones that i was mentioning earlier that has like not a duochrome but it's more than just sparkle it's a really intense like shift um i don't even know how to describe it so this one is kind of like a coral pink with a strong gold undertone shift so to me this color combination the coral pink with the gold undertone to me reminds me a lot of nars orgasm that's kind of like their classic color combo obviously this is a bit deeper and it's a different product entirely but it's going to give you that same kind of effect i bet so let's go ahead and swatch this one on the hand next to opal it's kind of like a dark pink and on the hand it's really really sheer um and you can definitely see the gold shift again i don't think you'll be able to tell on camera i'll have to show you guys in my um phone flash inserts but yeah, that looks really pretty. On camera, it doesn't look like much, so let's go ahead and see how it looks on the lips. Doesn't look as pigmented as I thought that it was going to be, to be honest, because there's such an intense gold shift here. So that's really pretty. I'm sure this would go well with a nude lip as well because of that, because it has that gold undertone. So again, that is 011 Brass. Not as pigmented as I thought and not exactly what I thought it would look like, but very, very pretty. The next color that we have here is 014 Heat. I anticipate that this will probably be the most popular shade from this five shade roundup. I just think that it's quite unique. It's not quite a red um, and it's more of like a deep pink fuchsia berry kind of leaning red i'll have to see when i swatch it and on the lips but that's the impression that i'm getting from the packaging and especially just it being called heat i feel like it's gonna have a little bit more of that red pigment so let's go ahead and swatch this one see what we think oh yeah this one is quite pigmented i'm excited to try it out on the lips so that is what 014 Heat looks like next to the two others. Definitely a strong impacting color, it has a ton of pigment in it. This is also the one shade I forgot to mention. This one doesn't have any type of shimmer in it. It is like amber from this one in the sense that it doesn't have any sparkle or shimmer infused in it it's just like a lacquer it is a very very pretty color super unique i definitely don't have a gloss like this in my collection so yeah let's go ahead and try it out on the lips looks really pretty and i feel like this type of shade as well i wouldn't really want a shimmer in it so i feel like they knew what they were doing with this one that's super pigmented I did an awful job filling in my lips there just because I was trying to do it without a mirror. So just ignore that. But I really, really like this color. I like it more than I thought that I was going to. This one might end up being my favorite just because you really don't have to wear it with anything underneath. This would be really pretty with like more of a red lip liner or more of a like deep fuchsia pink. Definitely pulls more warm than it does cool, but I think so far this is my favorite one. So again, that was 014 Heat. The next shade that we have here is 013 Ruby. This one's super pretty and unique as well. It's like a darker berry pink with a gold shift, which I think is really, really pretty. I don't know if it's gonna pull more berry or more gold on the lips. Looks way, way more cool toned next to the last one. In person, it does look fairly cool toned, but it does have that gold shift in there, so it kind of contradicts the other, um, but 
yeah, that looks really pretty. I might end up liking this one a lot too. See, in person, I wouldn't normally go for something this deep, especially knowing how pigmented the glosses are. Same with the last one. Like, I probably wouldn't have purchased that in person, but I really, really like how it looks. So let's go ahead and try this one out. I think this one almost maybe is less dark on the lips or has less color payoff than the last one which was heat this is the two together yeah this one especially with the shimmer infused in there i feel like the shimmer and the sheen makes it look lighter so i feel like heat is actually deeper in pigment and in color than ruby but i really like this one i like the shimmer it doesn't look as gold in person as brass did brass has like a very strong gold undertone because it's so fair maybe the gold shimmer dominates but because this one's a deeper color you don't really see that gold as much i really really like that so again that is 013 ruby we are finally on to the last shade, and this is 015 Sand. Very interesting color. It's a deep, warm-toned nude, I would say, but it has, like, silver blue iridescence in it. It's very hard to explain, so hopefully you guys will be able to tell in the clip that I'm going to insert with flash on, because I feel like it's so much easier to see in a clip like that. I don't know how I feel about this one. This is the one that if I saw on store, if I saw online or in store, I probably wouldn't have purchased if I wasn't doing this video, but it definitely intrigued me. So let's go ahead and swatch and try this one out on the lips. I'm also just not like a warm toned lip person. I don't know how I'm going to feel about this one. It's definitely a bit more sheer than I thought that it was going to be. So there is that there, 015 or 015 sand. I thought the orange undertone and the nudeness would pull through more, but you're definitely seeing way more of the shimmer than anything else on the hand, at least in person. Here's how the last shade looks. Again, 015 sand. I don't know how I feel about this one. It's definitely quite warm toned. I mean, it's really just like a nude you could wear with a nude lip liner or even like a darker orange like a rust color lipstick or lip liner underneath you have options with this one it's just like that blue sparkle that's throwing me off I don't know how well you guys can see it on camera I am going to go off camera I am going to take off this color I'm going to play around with I'm gonna pick one of the glosses and pair it with a lip liner and then I will come back with my final thoughts for you guys so I'll be back in two seconds so let's combo that I ended up going with was just my favorite holy grail lip liner ever and then I picked one of the glosses so for the liner I used morphe bay this is like my everyday pink it is the perfect pink for me in my opinion and then I actually ended up going with 011 brass which is the shade that I said looks kind of like NARS orgasm that like pink with a gold shift so I'm gonna swatch it on top of bay I just went in with morphe bay and then grabbed all the glosses, held them up to my lips, and figured out which would go best, and I thought this one would, so that is how the lip liner with the gloss on top looks swatched on my hand, and this is how it looks on the lips. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and learned something, and that it was helpful for you, especially seeing the lip swatches themselves. Definitely let me know if there's anything else drugstore or high-end Sephora that you are interested in seeing reviews on. I just ordered a bunch of new products products from e.l.f. like their putty bronzer, putty blushes. I ordered stuff from some of their new collabs that they did. So I will have a testing video on that coming soon, probably the next next video after this. And if you did enjoy this video, please do be sure to give it a like, a thumbs up. Really, really helps me out in planning my content, knowing what you guys like to see best so I can film more of that for you. And as always, if you aren't already subscribed, I would really appreciate if you would do that if you enjoy my videos and would like to to follow along. That is everything that I have for you guys today. As always, I hope that you guys either have or had an absolutely awesome day, and thank you so, so much for watching. Bye!